So said is the spirit of Allah, which is rock Allah. Can so I the rock Allah and the spirit of Allah and the Messiah okay. shows the authority of Jesus Christ, why he came and the purpose. And again, this is why, according to your Quran, you said that Isa did not die, Allah took him to himself. The question I ask, why did Allah took Isa and, and, all, and left all the prophets? Okay, can I answer? Answer me. Okay. Took him to himself. You, you see, I didn't interrupt you at all. And expect the same courtesy from you. But don't make it for about for well, I will I will make it enough so that it will be respond to you. Enough, you're, to, you're respond to, your, enough to respond to your enough to respond. I don't want yeah, you to yeah. be too long. I don't. I won't know, be too long. So don't worry. Don't make it, I'll make it pre yeah. precise to the points that you made. First and foremost, Allah uses the term Kalimatullah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kalimatum Minhum. That means the word from Him. So your interpretation of word of Allah is wrong. First and foremost. <laughs> Word from him is not the same as word of Allah. Okay. Secondly, why is he called the word from Allah? Because when Allah wants to create something, he issues a command, the command of kun fayakun. That's why Allah says in another, another chapter that the creation of Jesus is similar to that of Adam. When Allah wishes something to happen, he issues a command, kun fayakun, and that is the word of Allah. The word of Allah means the command of Allah. Because he was created by the command of Allah, he is given that title, command. He's known as the word from Allah. Kalimatum minhu. Yes, from him. It is some Okay. Yes, yes, read the Arabic. You'll see there. And this is important. So anyone who says that word of Allah means Allah, then they don't understand what it means. Yes, the command of Allah is the command of Allah. Yes, but that doesn't mean that Jesus is Allah. No, the same verse which you read, chapter 4, 171, it says he's the son of Mary. It says he's a Messiah and he's not the son of Allah. Very clearly that... No, he that, said he's not the son. He said, he what a, he said the son of Mary, right? Shall I read it to you? The Messiah. Shall I read it to you? My word, yeah. Have you got the, have you got the Quran on you? Yeah. He's got it there right here. He's got it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Open 4, 171. You read it again. Just like right? So do not exaggerate your religion, nor utter anything concerning Allah except the truth. We agree on that. Then he went to Isa, the Messiah Jesus. He gave him the absolute title, right? Um, son, of, uh, son of Mary was only a messenger mm -hmm. of Allah. Yeah, only a messenger. Okay? All right. And his word, yeah. which he conveyed to Mary, and a spirit from same, same. Allah. Same oh, Not of Allah, oh, yeah. from Allah. From Allah. From, him. from him. the spirit from him. Yes. Yeah. If you believe Allah Created is God, him, anything from Allah is definitely Allah's. Is Adam from Allah? Did Adam create Allah? Uh, sorry, was Adam created from Allah? Uh, God created him. Yeah. By Allah. Was created him. So does, yeah. it, does it mean Adam is Allah? No, it doesn't. So your your yeah, logic we're, is completely we're, flawed. You know, it's, it's okay, not. let's read for one one seventy one from this particular. Is it uh, yeah, the Sahih International? Yeah. In, yes, in, okay. In, in Arabic, is that in Arabic or what? Up, up. No, 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 no. Well, you don't understand Arabic. So no, you want, if you want, I can read the Arabic for you. Yeah. Yeah. All people of the Scripture do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and His word, which He directed to Mary and a soul created at a command from Him. So believe in Allah. And his messenger, and do not say three, desist. It is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Exalted is he above having a son. He said it wasn't there. Did he not say that? He said, Exalted yeah. is he above, he having, above having the son. son. To him belong whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah is the disposer of affairs. So when Allah says, Exalted is he above having the son, means he is so exalted he that he cannot, he does not have a son. In surah, in surah Al Ikhlas, Allah specifically says he was neither begotten nor does he beget. Yes? Lam yalit wa lam yulat. And that is very clear. So I don't know, this gentleman here is maybe choosing and picking his verses in order, in order to make sure that it is in sync with the Bible. When Allah has told you, look, unlike the Bible, we have a clear testimony from Allah that he doesn't have a son. Do you agree? If, let's go. Isa is the son of Allah. Where does it say that? I can prove it to you. No, no, show me the Quran. Surah, surah 66. Show me in the Quran. Surah 66, 12. Show me what it says there. Surah 66, 12. Yeah, read it. Prove that Isa is the son of Allah. Show me, read okay. it. Okay. Because when you people try to to separate Isa from Allah, we then he couldn't even save himself. Surah Tahrim, yeah? Separate. Separate. He's reading it for you now. 66, 66. 
6612 tells us. Um, I knew you would bring that. This has got nothing to do with him being Allah. <laughs> it is about how Allah created Jesus. Oh, you love that verse, isn't it? I love it because... Yes. Because you, you have the word V in there. Be, because you, you, you are know, going to use the word V. You love that. Not only that. You know, got for, an, for, for, a, for a grown-up man no, like you, for a, for a grown-up man like you, if you're going to say the way Allah created Isa alayhi salam, automatically makes him what God really son of God yes. so anyone God creates is his son is that what he's saying Adam was created by whom Adam was Adam was was his son of God until the fall really yes so why in the new because God was having a relationship with him what happened until the fall Adam will have a wonderful relationship with God so why does the new testament call Adam the son of God well, sorry why does the new testament call adam the son of god the, 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 well because he, he's fallen already but why call him yeah. the son after well, that he's, because he's the son of god until he, he's making a reference to say what we were yeah. before sin came adam was perfect absolutely perfect until the sin came where does he say that different. where does he say what he just said no, that, no, that no, he was the son until the fall where does he say that in the no, bible in the genesis no show me in the genesis no, I can't, I can't, of course you can't yeah. because not there why do you Christians have no, to lie no, in order to make up your own? Was Adam not perfect with God? No, no, that wasn't the question. He said Adam ceased being the son of God after his fall. Yes. I want to know where that is in the Bible. Because, when because all I heard is from you, not from the Bible. What did the Bible No, no. Yes. Substantiate Look, what he said from the, the Bible. What made Adam to be cast out of her? That wasn't of, my question. Show me where it says. Is, is it, show me where it says he's not the son of God. Adam okay. Okay. The Bible says so proof all things. Exactly. Well, why show me in the Bible no, where it says he's not the son of God why? anymore. No, no. Why? Show me in the Bible. Okay. Are you son of God? Show me. Are you son of God? Show me in the Bible. No, I'm not. Son of God. I'm not. Oh, you're not. Allah doesn't have a no, we're not not so Allah doesn't so have a son. Talking about God. So you're not even son of God. No, I'm not. We're we're slave to you. God. We're Why? Slave of God. Oh, you're a slave of God. I am slave of God. <laughs> Just like Jesus was a slave of Allah. Of God. <laughs> By the way, do you know? Do you know so something? So Jesus, do you know? God. When you say, listen, listen. God. When you say the Son of God, guys, 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 calm down. When you say the Son of God, listen. When you say the Son of God, what do you mean by it? I'm shocked. Are you the Son of God? I'm shocked. Are you the Son of God? You don't claim. You don't accept that you are sons of God. You're instead you're slave of Allah. Is a shock. Do you know why we are not the sons we are of God? We're not actually on the same level in terms of. You're right. Religion. You're right. You believe, you, believe, you, believe, you believe that everyone is the son of God? Let's, we don't believe that. Yeah, okay. You see, Muslim must understand. Look, he couldn't answer Isa, my, he couldn't answer that my question Isa that is not, Adam is no that, more the son that, of God. He couldn't Isa, answer that, could he? Yeah. So now he's changed the topic. I'm not are you the sons of God? Are you? Yes. You said no. We're so not. we're moving away from By the way, I have, you not. have you sinned? Have you so, seen Adam has sinned? Have you sinned? We are born in sin. I didn't ask you that. Have you sinned? Yes. Like Adam? Not so, like Adam, but I sinned. Oh, so your sin is less than Adam or worse than Adam? It's different. We are, we are sinned. So he sinned and he... We are sinned. He sinned sin and he stopped being... regardless. So you're saying as soon as he sinned, he stopped being the son of God. But when you sin, you're okay to be the son of God. No, because... The double standards. Because Christ... <laughs> the double standards. You know, because Christ has come to... Because Christ has come to redeem us. Come to pay the price. Ah. And this is where you Muslims you know are mistaken. You, you have not accepted the graciousness of God. Okay. You have not accepted the poor. Let's see the, 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 the question. Bro, bro, bro. Where do you get that from? Bro, bro, bro. Let me... Let's he says we... No, no, you... No, 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 no. You made... You made a point. You made a point. You made a point. You made a point. No, no. You made a point. Let's about me not being Quran. gracious. Let me ask you something. No, can you, can you, you listen, listen. No, no, no. Your book. Yes, I will. Let me ask you. No, can you be no, saved no, without a human sacrifice? No. Let's see which, which religion is better now. The one that believes the only way for salvation is by human sacrifice salvation, or Islam. Salvation is only through Jesus Christ. For human sacrifice. Lord. Human only sacrifice. Christ sacrificed himself for you. So am I right? For me. Am I right? The only way you can be saved is by human sacrifice. By through Christ. By human sacrifice. Through Christ. Yes. Through the Messiah. Are you still saved? Through the Messiah. Was he human? Through God. Through God. Only God himself can save Calm you. Down. And he allowed Christ to die on the cross for my own salvation. So we can only be saved, enter he into Christ, grace but before he was through God, before he was believing God. How did he... in Jesus Christ. Okay, I heard you. Yeah. Now answer, so my, he know. Know. Uh, answer my question. Who was sacrificed on the cross? A human or God? Christ was sacrificed. Human or God? G uh, human. Human. Yeah. So human sacrifice, right? Yeah. The only way you can be saved is by human sacrifice. Do you agree? 
Sorry, man. Yes, Christ, Christ was a human being. Okay. Now, you see, died. we Muslims, yeah. we Muslims, our God, Allah, doesn't require yeah. human no, sacrifice. No, no. Look, I didn't, I didn't interrupt you. No, you're asking questions. No, so. no, I'm talking now, but yeah. I didn't interrupt you. And like I said... But you didn't allow me to finish my... No, you did. You okay. did. You did. Okay, you talk. You did. Right. I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, you didn't. And I, I, from, and I expected... From, from, from I, expect, I apologize. I expect, right. the, okay. I expect the same courtesy from you. Okay, you so continue now. Right. In Islam, Allah is able to forgive. Yes? If you ask for repentance, just like in Ezekiel 18, 20, when it says, the son is not accountable for the sins of the father. And the father is not accountable for the sins of the son. Yes? And the wickedness of the wicked... If they repent to God Almighty, I'm paraphrasing here, if they repent, then it is as if they have not committed a sin. The sins will not be remembered. In other words, they have a clean slate. Now this is God Almighty, the merciful, who is able to forgive without any sacrifice. Because in Ezekiel 18, you don't see any mention of sacrifices. Yes? So if God is able to forgive your sins, by the way, you do believe that Jesus, Jesus forgives sins, right? As a, as a Christian, you believe that, right? He has the power to forgive sins. The question is this. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, when it says there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Like, like you're saying, yeah. You're, Jesus came, they used to sacrifice animals. I agree, I agree. Sacrifice animal is not the same as sacrifice humans, okay? The one thing that God, God abhors and God rejected and prohibited is human sacrifice, which, which was actually the hallmark of the pagans. Yes, they used to sacrifice their children to God Almighty. Sorry, to that gods, to the false gods or whatever it is. But you see, the only way you can be saved is by human sacrifice, which is exactly the principle of the pagans. Now, why can't God, if, God, if Jesus is able to forgive saints, why the need for shedding of blood? Because Hebrews 9.22 says, there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Okay. So two questions you need to ask. Why does your God require human sacrifice? Why does your God require the spilling of blood of innocent to forgive your sins? Right. Answer these two questions, please. Because in uh, Islam, in Torah, we don't have such. In Torah, yeah. in, in Leviticus 16, God requires animal sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin. The Israelites, which whom God, go on really. Uh, um, no, no, which says uh, intentional Le Le or unintentional? Leviticus 16. Yeah. Unintentional or intentional? No, no, just go on. We're talking about. Let me, can you, can no, you open Leviticus, Leviticus 16? Levit yeah, I think it's Leviticus 4 where it says unintentional no, sins. Le Le Leviticus, because this is where God gave the mandate. Remember, yeah. the Leviticus. But the question is, is it intentional in or unintentional? No, no, look, look, look. That's look. fine, that's fine. No, it's still animal no, sacrifice, no, not the same no, as human. But let's see, because if you believe. The God of Israel, yeah. the Almighty, that gave the mandate to the Jewish people from Abraham down to, to, to Christ. Not Abraham, then, all the way from Adam. What do you mean? Yeah. You know, all the way from Adam. The, the, the Jewish people yeah. began Abraham was not Abraham. No, Abraham was no, not a Jew. Was but his children, his children, as in Jacob. Isaac and Jacob were not. He Jacob was called Israel. Yeah, Isaac. Right? Jacob came Isaac, much later. Yeah. So Isaac and Ishmael before them. Yeah. Then, so his grandchildren then the you're talking third, about. The third, the yeah. third grandchild became Israel. Okay. So then, yeah. after 400 years. What is the point? What's the point? Well, the point I'm trying to yeah. make is that they got the Torah, and in the Torah, yeah. this is where God mandated Moses, right, of animal sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin. Yeah. Correct? Because Unintentional sins, I agree. Look, it is say unintentional. It does. Leviticus case. 4, it does. Read it. Leviticus 16. I'm saying 4. Yeah. Why, are you, Look, why are you ignoring the other passage why, of the, I'm of just the Bible? Telling you, you, go, you have to go and read everything. Let's read. So it. read everything. That Let's includes Leviticus read the 4. Word that pertain to forgiveness of sins. Period. Okay, read sin Leviticus 16. Sin. Go on. Go on. Sin read read Leviticus 16. Show me. Yeah. Okay. So, exactly. Show so, me Leviticus 16. If you are, can you agree to I'm having one discussion if you don't mind, sir. <laughs> Others will just get confusing, that's all. So my question was, why do you require human sacrifice? The sacrifice yes, he's giving us sacrifice from, from of animals. Exodus. Remember the Exodus? Show me Leviticus 16. The first sacrifice of animals. Yeah, yeah, is it? What's yeah, we, we shall have a wrap up. What's the time? The Maghreb. Yeah, okay. All right. let, me, Maghreb. let me finish with him. So, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up quickly. Leviticus 16. Yeah. Wrap it up. Yeah, you got yeah, 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 okay, 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 he's not afraid of the dark. Yeah. <laughs> See, here, you might need to read it. Yeah. Read it, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Now the Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron when they offered profane fire before the Lord and died. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron, your brother, not to come, you know, come just to 
uh, come at any other time into the holy place inside the veil, time, right? Brother. Yeah. I want to time to come. Okay, all right, I've got to go now. Okay, so, they have to go. So, <laughs> so anyway, no problem. Next week, we yeah. continue. Yeah. Next week. By the way, you know when you when you when somebody commits in the Old Testament time, when somebody commits adultery, yes? They're stoned. Can they get away with sacrificing an animal? Um, no, they're stoned. So it's not a that, that's so, a direct punishment because So which shows you which shows you that for sins unless it's in, intentional, there is a punishment of God, unintentional animal come, sacrifice. Come, 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 no, wait, wait, no. If you have to go, you have to go, is, that's fine. There is sins that are intentional, there are sins that are uh, unintentional. Yeah. But they are mandated punishment. No. Even in Islam, you got on the you got, you are told that Allah will forgive you for, what? for your unintentional sins. Things. Yeah, but not by yeah. sacrifice. But well, because you you don't believe Allah is not God. That's the truth. So why Allah do why do the Arab Christians call him God? He's not, why do the Arab Christians call him God? Well, because they we had, they had sword on their neck and you are forced why to call him, God. call him God. But they have a sword on their neck now. Today, why why do, where you get that from? The Arab Christian call Allah yeah. Father. So you call him what? What do you call Allah Father? Why is it Allah? No, 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 but why do they, why do Arab Ar Ar okay. Christians sure. call Isa the why son of Allah? Okay, can I can I answer that? Can you answer can that? I, can, yes. I, can I answer what that? Do son of Allah? Do you believe Isa is the son of Allah? Yes. So you believe in Allah? He's not a false and god. Allah is a false <laughs> god. No, no, Baba, it's time for you to go. Baba, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. It's getting down. Allah is the false god. Allah is the false That's a wrap. That's a wrap. You see, this is the double standards of the Christians. They call him a false god and then say Jesus is a is a god of... father of Muslims. No, he's not the father. He's not the father of anyone. Allah is the father of Muslims. Bye-bye, you're the weakest link. Link. <laughs> <laughs>